I'm in! I look good! Okay. <laughs> I'm Josh. I'm Ollie. I'm Rev Chris. And this is Jolly. It's been too long. It has. We've been gone for a long time. A month. The last time what? we were on Jolly, we were live streaming in Seoul. That's a long time ago. Oh my goodness, you've aged so much. Well, oh, all right. <laughs> and look, you're still on it. I'm not in the collar. Hey. Yeah. Chris is no longer what? a priest. Like, whoa, whoa, okay, whoa. Okay, okay. Whoa. okay. Well, let's wind that back in. I certainly am still a priest. We got just... casual Chris today. Yeah. Casual clothing. Casual. Because what we're doing today is quite informal. So pizza, well, I see in front of me. Not only is this pizza, Chris, but this is going to be Andrew. Oh, this is Andrew. You know what Andrew is? Andrew is the accompaniment of beer? A drink. A drink. Today, we are going to be tasting England's best beers. Oh, victory. Do you remember you said in the car? Oh, yes. Kind of doing it, and you said, I'm free that day. Yeah, do you remember that? Cut to that clip. Boom. One of our next Jolly episodes is going to be an introduction to English beer. We're probably going to do it in our flat. I'm free that evening. <laughs> Whenever it is. <laughs> yes, I remember it. Turns out you <laughs> yeah. were free and here. Oh, I'm really excited. We've got some good beers in England. Bring in the beer. Thank you very much, Mike. Oh, good job. At one point. Oh, oh, oh my gosh. gosh. Okay. Whoa, this is that. a new style. Okay. Usually it's like one at a so. time. <laughs> what is going on? We're shaking it up. Season oh, three, baby. Baby. Yeah. Andrew, you're my favorite. We're not gonna, we're not gonna drink all of you. We're gonna taste test them. Drink carefully, casually, yeah, and do responsibly. Not, do not drink all this many beers at once. Korean beer is not famous for being good. Recently, they have a lot of trendy sort of different beers which are getting popular. So IPAs are getting more popular, pale ales are getting popular, things like that. But in England, they've been around a long time. So we're gonna try out some of the most traditional yeah. and a couple of hip and trendy ones as well. But first up, we're gonna start off with a light, probably the cheapest. I was hoping we would start with that. <laughs> yeah. As soon as I saw that, I thought, so glad we got a carling. Get out. <laughs> that's, that's sarcasm. <laughs> I thought you were gonna say, get out of the way quick as possible. Because it's the cheapest, it's, you're gonna find it at like every pub. It's stereotypical to say that guys who start fights at football matches will be drinking this. Here we go, guys. Cheers. Ball games. That, I would say, is worse than Korean beer. Yeah. It's it worse. makes me it's want worse. to go and watch ball games and then punch my mate in the face. <laughs> yeah. <It's> so awful. <laughs> so while we're on lager, We've got a more modern London lager. This is from a brewery called Meantime. I love Meantime. I mean, if you come to London, you want to try a local beer, anything from Meantime, it's going to be good. Cheers, guys. Cheers. Sorry, I keep going straight for it. Oh, that's quite nice, though. Should we get a bit more? Mm. <laughs> Instantly an improvement. Of yeah. <laughs> Instantly a noticeable improvement. See, I could watch a ball game while drinking that. You wouldn't have to punch anyone. No, I might even hug someone. Wow. Let's, let's, let's. Your team played well. Yeah. Maybe they deserve to win. As they say in Korean, Gwen Chana, Gwen Chana. If so your team's okay. losing in Korea, they'll start chanting. It's okay. Yeah. yeah. Wow. It is okay. Is it okay? I can't get it in my head. Is it okay? Is yeah. it okay? Yeah. <laughs> if we did that in the UK, I think everyone would just Someone, understand it yeah. as a sarcastic thing. Yeah. <laughs> in England, when you're weird. losing or when the enemy team scores a goal, your team is silent. The enemy team. <laughs> The next beer I have is another sort of craft beer. I like this one because it's called Notting Hill. Yeah, it's close Very to here. local. And I think that's what they're kind of trying to say. It's a local beer. It's a blonde. Like a lot of Belgian beers are blondes. Sure. Okay, sure. no, no. Sure. You can't sure. teach the priest sure. this sure. song. Sure. Stop, drank stop. He doesn't Sorry. understand it. Drink. Okay, cheers. <laughs> Sorry. Notting Hill. Ooh. It's... I'm not a fan Ooh. of blonde beers. Mm. If someone bought me a blonde, I'd drink it, but I wouldn't order it. But I like that a lot. It's, it's blonde beer and I like it. I mean, I am a fan though. All right, moving onwards. This is one of my favorite beers. It's not from England. It's from Scotland. Mm -hmm. Brewdog, very famous. We've talked about these in videos before. This is called a punk IPA. You can find this in uh, Korea. You can find it in Itaewon, some other places. Oh, you see, I like that. I, like, I do like that. Full of flavor. They're tasting Whoa. better and better. Oh, I no. wonder whether that's the effect. Uh, it's starting <laughs> to okay. taste really good. It's quite interesting. It's almost like fruity. Hoppy. There's a richness in, in the yeah. flavor. And I think IPAs are like that. They're very intense flavors. This is a very traditional IPA. A proper India Pale Ale. India? India Pale Ale, that's what IPA stands for. Do you not know this? I did not yeah, know India that. Yeah. Well, what happens? Now, we hit Jolly season three. Now, <laughs> <Yeah>. Knowledge. Yeah. <laughs> 
<laughs> I feel like IPA and pale ales in general are quite a new thing to Korea. They're more likely to have tried that than, than something like this, a proper, proper job. See, this is where I think Which, when the Koreans come to England, they should try proper yeah, English proper ales. You're right. I think this is something you can't find that easily in Korea. A proper IPA, you will actually be able to see a little bit of yeast in the bottom of the bottle. You shouldn't mix it. You should pour just the top of the beer and leave the little bit of sediment. This is a uh, Cornish IPA. Proper job. Called proper job. Proper, proper job. job. Proper Slow job. Smooth. And the aftertaste is good as well. The woody. aftertaste is wow. yeah, woody. Yeah. It's Poppy. so much better out of a tap though. Yeah. Because getting it out of a tap, it's smoother. It doesn't have the, the crispness of the bubbles. I, I'm a big fan of the punk IPA, but that is nice. Mm. Yeah, it's nice. It's really nice. Next up, nice. Newcastle Brown Ale. It's iconic. Yeah, it's iconic it in England. It feels quite northern. It's not a city beer. This is like a countryside ale. It's friendlier. Now, I've seen Newcastle Ale in Korea quite a bit. So I oh, think really? This is what? Amazing. That's something I was surprised by. No way. Because this is the last thing you would expect to see in Korea. What's that? In England, it feels like such an English countryside beer. See, I am really not sure what this is going to taste like. But here. Probably. Ooh, smells. Yeah, right? It smells wow. great. Wow. There's a lot of flavor in that smell. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Really full, isn't it? Wow. Whoa, that's so weird. Whoa. It stands apart from the others in a very strange Whoa. way. I feel like that beer would give me a headache. Really? What? I feel like that. <laughs> Next up, here, 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 here. Oh, have you got that? Really? Is that, is that happening? Oh, that's happening. Doom wow. bar. It's one of my favorites. See, I would say Doom after bar. church, every Sunday, yeah. more or less, yeah. I will buy Chris a pint of Doom bar. Really? Yeah. Yeah. Really? <laughs> it's like a little tradition we have. Yeah. 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 That's a funny little quirk of English churches. It's very common in English churches. After church, you go with the pastor or the priest mm. to the pub and you have a pint. It's yeah, like a community priest. thing. You get yeah. to know people and they know the local priest and yeah. the local pub pastor. Culture and you all quite, get yeah. smashed together. No, that no, doesn't happen. happen. <laughs> Does not. All right, guys. Well, cheers to that, well, guys. Cheers. Doomba. It's out of a bottle. It's yeah. fizzy, though. Yeah, it's not mm. as good. My yeah. grandfather was a director of Guinness, so he would have it from a keg because it's just better. And there's some pubs in Ireland, in Dublin, their tap is directly from the Guinness factory, so it never enters into even a keg. What? It goes straight from the vat under the ground and goes into a pub, so you can just pull it straight from the from the what, a pipe from the factory from to the factory. Them. Yeah, there's like, like water. Yeah, so you just pull your tap, How and it goes directly from the factory. That's crazy. When yeah. did they set that up? Go. This in Ireland is that really is nuts. really good. That is nuts. Yeah. I would say if you're gonna get beer in the UK, mm. go to a pub, get it from a tap because bottled beer is just it's not as good. How was that experience? Chris? Well, I oh. mean. It's lovely to have a drink with yeah. you guys. Do you have a favourite among these? Do you know what? It's hard. I mean, out of a bottle, yeah. I probably prefer to have a craft beer. Ooh, but okay, in a pub, okay. I would prefer to have one of these. And these trans yeah, be these transpose the better to bottles. Mm, these are better out of a tap. One of these two here now. Let's go for the brew dog. Great, punk IPA. In a pub, that moves aside. I get that from the tap. And you take the doom bar. Okay, very good, very good. Honoran Yogi Kachi. Yeah. <laughs>